In this video, we'll take a look at changing the background image on a phone that's registered to WebEx Calling. We'll first take a look at the phone we'll be experimenting with. It's a 8841 3PCC. It's running 11-3-7 MPP firmware-284, which is service release one. So this is currently registered to WebEx Calling. We're going to go into the device section within WebEx Control Hub. We're going to select the phone that we are going to change image on, which is the 8841. We're going to go into the device settings section. We're going to make sure we define custom device settings. We're going to select the background image, custom background. Okay, we're going to have to type in a URL. In this case, I'm going to use TFTP. So what, what I'm going to basically do here is I'm, I'm going to pull an image from a local computer within my network that has the image. It's going to be running TFTP D64, so that's the IP address of the computer. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the actual name of the image. So I'm going to use my underscore example underscore one. And that's going to be a JPEG type of image. Okay, we're going to go ahead and copy the name here. We're going to make sure we include the extension of JPEG. Oh, let me go to retype that. Okay, so what we're going to do here next is we're going to go ahead and apply this. And then we want to go ahead and under Actions drop down. We're going to apply changes, apply changes. Okay. And typically we should see the changes fairly quickly within about 10 or 15 seconds, okay? So the image has been uploaded and that's basically the image, okay, it looks like the phone is going to do possibly a reboot here. We'll give it a few moments here. When looking at the admin guide for the three PCC phones, aka MPP, it does make a reference to the image size of being 128 by 128 pixels. This is what I'm using here. I will show you some other things I've done here in a few moments. So you notice the image is somewhat pixelated because of the low resolution, but we'll do some additional testing towards the end here just to show you some options for you to consider. Okay, the next thing we're going to take a look at is what happens if my image has a different type of background? How is the phone going to react? So we're going to try the example I've listed as my example two. And we're just going to repeat as before. We're going to go down to the custom background URL field and we're just going to need to change one character here so we're just going to make this a number two. We're going to go ahead and save the settings. Then we're going to go up to actions, apply changes, apply changes one more time. Okay, and then again, these changes occur fairly quickly, okay? 
So right now, if you noticed, the background of the screen is blue because of the background we'd uploaded, but the phone selected to change the actual lettering, the characters, so the phone number, the extension, the date, etc., etc. So there is an automatic algorithm in a phone that based upon the majority of the content of the screen, as far as if it's more darker or lighter, it will go in and change the actual characters of the phone. So that's something that's automatic. So we're going to try my example number three for this one, just to give us some different varieties to see how the phone's going to react. So this background image is solid black and obviously the phone will select the letters for the extensions, phone number, date, etc, etc to be a white color. That would make sense. I think where you might have a situation where it might be a little more, more tricky is if you have an image, a more complex image, because obviously what I'm using here is very simple image lettering with a specific color background but if you had something more complex that has a combination of both light and dark type of colors this is where it might get a little bit more uh, tricky in a sense you may need to experiment to see what works best okay so this will be example number four that we're going to look at right here And also the other thing you'll notice is I'm giving it extra space on the edges. So you definitely don't want to stretch the image all the way to the edges because it may mix in with the letters and make it less legible for the user that's using the phone. So another consideration is to make sure there's a nice border around the logo or whatever your background image will be. Okay. Again, another darker color. This one is a, a bluish color, and the phone has selected to keep the white letters. Not too big of a surprise. But if you notice how I have a nice border around the actual image, the background image, to give clearance to make sure the actual extensions and phone numbers are landing on a, on a solid background to make it easier for the user to actually look at. Okay, now we're just going to reset it back to factory default. So we're just going to select none. And we're just going to repeat as before, save, and then we're going to go actions, apply changes. Then we have the white backgrounds before. Notice the letters are back to being a dark color. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is you probably noticed the resolution wasn't super high there on the background image I was using. So we're going to go ahead and use a higher resolution image. So same content, but this case will just be higher resolution. We'll first originally look at the ones I... I just showed on the screen a few moments ago. So this one was a resolution of 171 by 128, so fairly low resolution. And then the one I'm calling high res, we'll take a look at its resolution. So you notice right off the bat, much larger. So this one's 495 by 368. And we're going to upload this into the phone and just kind of experiment, see what quality benefits we can notice.
Okay, we're going to go actions, apply changes, apply changes. And we'll take a look. So this is the original test I did with a low resolution image, fairly pixelated. We're a little bit closer now to the camera. And if you notice with the high resolution is much, much cleaner. So you definitely want to experiment and see what's going to work best. The Abner guide for the phone does actually reference a much small lower resolution. However, as you notice, I just did a higher resolution. Both WebEx calling or WebEx control them in a phone ingested that image without an issue. So definitely experiment to see what's going to work best as far as what's going to yield the best resolution. And also as far as layout, as far as light versus dark color background to see how the phone is going to react and is it going to work. Also want to point it out, I did experiment with a couple different formats, PNG, JPEG, GIF, in bitmap, and all of them did upload just fine. So another thing you may want to ex experiment because the different formats have different results as far as the compression and rendering on the screen. Okay, well hopefully this video has helped you with changing the background image on a 3PCC phone registered to WebEx calling. Thank you.